Hey there, I'm Petra Verbruggen and welcome to this video in the LiveView LU300 video series together with LiveView. In this video, I'll show you how you can pull in your LU content, your LU300 content into your live production. In my case, it's vMix, but it can be any software or hardware uh, product that you like. So let's start it. Let's start vMix. <laughs> Hey, welcome in my live production environment. It's quite impressive, right? It's a lot of buttons to push, etc. But actually, in essence, it's not that difficult. On the on your left hand side, you'll find the preview monitor, which is where you see me at this moment. On the right hand side is what I record, which is the full screen at this moment. Down below, you see the uh, video inputs, which are uh, cameras that I have. I have three cameras uh, that you can see at this moment. And down below, you actually see some Live View logos popping in and popping out. And that is the beauty of uh, Live View is that you can actually use that to stream directly to your production. That can be an at home production, which means that you have camera people, some are totally different. That, uh, that record a multi-camera production and you are here um, doing the production. We'll talk about it more thoroughly, but for now I can show you how easy it is to bring the, in the live view into your uh, production. And actually, I've already pre-defined uh, a lot of things in uh, Live View Central, but we'll show it anyway. But let's show how easy it is. It's just a matter of pushing the button here waiting for a bit and on if everything is fine the live view 4 the, the most right live view will pop up with the picture i'm not doing anything there you go there it is okay the audio is a little bit too hot but at least you are able to do it and i'll uh, show you what it looks like there you go well that's uh what i wanted to show you how easy it is to bring it in to your live production. And how did I do that? Well, that's in the Live View Central, and I'm gonna show you right now. To enable a channel, you have to go to the Live View Central web portal. So let's log in. And here you see a list of all the field units that we have uh, available to us. And the last one is the LU300. And if I select that one, then what well, you see here that the LU2000 server that I have on-premise actually has four channels. But there's something awkward here. There's one channel that's different. That's the first one that has a different icon. That's because that's the only one with an SDI port. Uh, LU2000 comes with one, two, or four SDI ports. And to manage the channels, you have to go to Manage Channel. And here you see my channels again. And they're all NDI enabled. That's not by default. There's a special license. And here you have one that's uh, SDI enabled. Now, if you want to have NDI, you have to click on that uh, pencil icon, go to the NDI tab and click on Enable NDI Stream and say OK, and we're done. OK, so now we're done with Live View Central. Let's bring it in into our production. Let's go to Add Input, Camera, and there you'll find the SDI channel. <laughs> Don't look at the name. Uh, resolution and framework are OK. Uh, let's give it a little bit of a logical uh, position into our uh, production system. Um, let's pick this one. Yes. All right. Say OK. And boom. Live View logo is available. So we have now brought in the SDI version of uh, a, a signal, which is channel 1. Now bring in NDI channel 2, add input, go to the NDI instead of camera, then select the second channel and give it also a, a bit of a logical position into our a suite right there. Say OK. Boom. Both are in there now. SDI, NDI, side by side. Now give it a little bit of a better name um, because this name doesn't say anything. Uh, let's say 2 Live View. Uh, channel 2 from Live View, but it can also be Rob or Bob or John or something or Camera 2. Then one Live View for this channel and we're done. Both are now in our production. So now you have seen how to bring in your Live View footage into vMix. What kind of software or hardware switcher do you use? Tell me in the comments below. In the meantime, do you like this video? Please share your love and hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you get notified when we bring out a new video. See you around. Bye-bye. <music>